Hi everyone, it is the 9th of September of 2023 and I've been doing really well with these Wilds of Eldraine sealed events. I've done four so far and uh, only one of them I didn't manage to get the, to the three wins which is the big milestone. So let's uh, have another one. Where is it? Sealed Wilds of Eldraine. Doopy doopy doo. -doo, -doo, -doo. Yep. Yeah. And let's see what we get. Right. Hey, oh. Oh, a bit laggy there. Um. Okay. So we've got a few. Copy enchantment. You may have copy enchantment as a battlefield to copy of any target. <laughs> I mean, that is probably the most literal name I've I've ever seen, but that could be good. I mean, I could uh, still. This isn't. This really isn't guiding me any particular way. See, here's what I'm thinking about Phyrexian on life. I'm thinking, how is that functionally different from you gain ten life? I mean, obviously, if it if it gets exiled or gets destroyed, then then I suppose that doesn't uh, help. I don't know. I do like Spyfall Hex Mage. What is this dual land? Uh, and tapped. Becomes a 1 for white and black nightmare creature until end of turn. It's still a land. When it attacks, defending pl player loses 2 life and you gain 2 life. Alright, that seems alright. If I do want to go white black. I mean, I've got enchanted. Creatures you control get plus two plus two. I mean, copy enchantment would work well on itself for the ages. Ex Elusive Otter seems fine. What is this one? Bargain. Look at the top 20 cards of your library. You may reveal up to two creature cards from among them if this spell was bargained. Put the revealed cards on the battlefield. Otherwise, put the revealed cards into your hand and shuffle. Put onto the battlefield if you bargained. Otherwise, put them into your hand. Yeah, eight mana. I don't think that's going to happen much. And I've got nothing else pushing me in green other than maybe the Elusive Otter, but even still. And then we've got the little Raging Battle Mouse. Cost one less to cast. Celebration. Ah, well, I'll have a look at my, um... I'll have a look at my... My... Commons and uncommons, but... Copy enchantment seems nice. Um... Maybe that'd be good for bargain if I can get a bargain deck and tell for the ages as well. But I'm also thinking if I could go. Black and white seems fine. I mean, it's pointless copying for Exion and Life. Right. Um. So let's let's have a look. So in blue, let's search. Enchantment. Well, that's just search enchantment in general. So I haven't got much enchantment in blue. When it's put into the graveyard from the battlefield, draw three cards. Um, and we've got bargains. The princess takes flight. So if I can get bargain. Uh, there are an enchantment. Cooped up is nice. But you have it entered as a copy. Ah, uh, you may have it entered, right, so you can target something. If I say if I copy cooped up. Uh, in green, whenever a creature enters the battlefield, you control square one. Whenever you cast a spell that targets a creature you control, draw a card. What are you? Never stalked by nightmares. It is sort of pushing me. I feel like I'm kind of being pushed towards just playing all black-white. I mean, I've, pl I've, I've played black a lot in this set, but I feel like it's... More coincidental than anything. Uh, Garrick's Uprising. Show a creature with power 4 or greater draw a card. Creature control the trample. Have trample. Creature. Uh, let's have a look for. Bargain. Right. Well, I've got a few bargains. 
If you damage target attack on a blocking creature, if it was bargain, destroy that creature instead. Bargain. Candy Grapple is just good, even without the bargain. What are you? Oh, yeah. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking black-white. Let's just let's have a look at the blue by itself for now. So flying adventure. Hmm. Disdainful stroke. Not keen on aquatic alter alchemist. Sleight of hand. You may have it as it enters a copy of any target enchantment on the battlefield. Hold on, let's, let's search enchantment again to see what that could potentially copy. Because I'm thinking... Hold on. Uh, let's do type enchantment. So, that costs three. I could have it just a copy of... What you see in the ground. Whatever creature enters the battlefield into your control. Square one. Right. The beanstalk. Uh, when it put into the graveyard from the battlefield, draw three cards. The thing is, is that all thy enchantments are rather low cost. So I think I might have to disregard that. That doesn't seem to do anything worth worthwhile. And hatching plans would be good if I have a bargain. Of course... Um, hold on. Let's let's search for fairies. Oh, they spell it, i.e., don't they? You benefit from fairies. There's not really a. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not filling it with fairies. I'm not really filling it with blue in general. What have I got in red? Monstrous Rage. Yeah, I mean... Hold on, let's... Let's search... Celebration. Have I got anything going on there? Hardly anything. And Celebration would be fine if I was generating a lot of tokens, but I'm thinking... I'm, I'm, leading, to, I'm leading towards Black-White. Hold on. Before I do any of that, let's have a look at my artifacts. Oh, two candy trails, you know I like to see them. Two shimmering grottos. Land. I've got that land. Uh haven't got much else in terms of in terms of artifacts. I haven't got really much in terms of mana fixing. So I'm thinking black white is just gonna be the way to go. I do believe so. Um so hold on, let's search uh, black and white. So let's just put you in for now. Uh, just shove in a few things that I think would look nice in general. Let actually no, before I do that, let's let's search roll. So you can enter with a roll on. When it dies, put young hero roll on. Spiteful hex mage. That's fine. Oh yeah, spite. I'll put that in. Um, I'm looking for. So you, create a wicked roll. Yeah, let's add all these in. I like that. I like that. Uh, have I got much bargain in white and black? Ah, yeah, well, I'm going to add the candy grapples. I quite like you. Rowan's Grim Search. If it spells bargain, look at the top card of your, four cards of your library, then put up to two of them back on top of your library in any order. And draw two cards, lose two life. 
Okay, and I'm kind of interested in Callan's Light Blades. Um, but am I low on I feel like I'm really low on creatures here. Type creature. Yeah. Let's have a look at what you do. When it enters the battlefield, return to a creature or enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. Whenever enchantment you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, put a 1 1 counter on Neva than Scry 1. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, return target creature or enchantment. Creature or enchantment from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. Have I got. Well, I could put in cooped up, but I need. What have I got here? So I've got space for 10 more cards. So I'm thinking I'm going to put cooped up in, but let's have a look at what we've got here. So when an enchantment you could also put into a graveyard from your battlefield, create a 1 1 white bird. Yeah, yeah. I've got. That, that seems to work out quite well. When enchantment you could also put into a graveyard from the battlefield, each opponent loses one life. Hmm. And you, you create a food. When it ends the battlefield, destroy attack creature opponent was dealt damage this turn. Let's put in Wicked Wicked Visitor. Uh Okay. There basically isn't much white creatures. I've got white creatures. I've got one there. Another one there. They are white as well. Celebration might actually be the way to go. Let's stick it in. Okay. When you cast a spell during an opponent's turn, up to one target creature. And you. Ends the battlefield, destroy target creature, which will deal damage. Yeah, it's pretty low curve, this deck. That's the only thing. So. What do I want? I do want cooped up. I do want a tail for the ages. And I do want cooped up. And I'm thinking break the spell is nice. The princess takes flight. Uh yeah, that um Hold on. Rat out, I don't think so. I mean I could bargain the rat, but I think the princess takes flight. What's this one? When it enters the battlefield, tap tap creature opponent controls, but don't counter on it whenever an untapped creature you controls. Yeah, well, I'm not really doing that, am I? Let's try attack creature. Okay. Okay. This deck seems fine. Let's do. Let's check out my ratios here. So, um, whenever in enchantments you can trust into a graveyard from the battlefield, the opponent loses one life. Um, I can, I can, you know, there's more room there for me to put more mana into you. Yeah, uh, you get celebration. You you can create a token, so that helps with the celebration for the armory mice. You create a token. You're more flexible there. Would switch you with which you create a thing that's. Celebration, is that uh, two more on lands? Yeah. Uh, I do like the kind of grapple. I can easily. So you've got bargain. You've got bargain. You've got bargain. I can destroy enchantment with break the spell. So I can. The princess takes flight. I can get rid of that. Or if I bring up Phyrexian on life, I can bargain that away if my life total is very high and I don't. It seems like I don't need it. Yeah, this seems okay. This seems alright. Let's go with this. Right. Made that deck rather quickly. It usually takes me like 20 minutes.
I'm feeling alright about this deck. Okay, well, um, <sighs> color problem. I've got a mulligan that I don't like to. Okay, I can create a ah, so we could roll. Uh, okay, well, I'll have to keep. Hmm. Kill one of those things, I make them discard two cards. Uh, I don't know. I'll get rid of Shatter the Oath. Just because it's um Oh. Oh, a bit of lag there. Just because it's a bit more mana, I'm not sure I'll be able to get to it. Aha! Uh -huh. right, well, I'll play you. I lent a tapped. Fine. Next turn, I can... I can just bring out the con Conceited Witch. Ah, okay. Yeah. Don't get to... Don't get to put a thing on anything. This is two, three minutes. I can make them discard two cards. And they get a rat. Well, they can't. Hold on. Hmm. They get a wicked. A wicked roll. Yeah, let's do that. Right. I mean, they'll just discard whatever the worst two cards are, so that's not too great, but... What does this do? Put this the backfield. Alright. And you, when it enters the... Battlefield, whenever another creature you control dies, put a 1 1 counter on it. Well, I could. Could ca potentially can you grapple that. Oh, oh, ego drain. Oh, they have a fairy? Yeah, they do. No, not the candy grapple. Right. Um, three damage to target attacking or blocking creature. If this spell was bargained, destroy that creature instead. How many mana am I at? Three, four, five. Oh, not quite enough. Well, I don't want to bargain it. I'll just... I've had, I've had a lot of bad luck with my early games. Right, so they're going to target. Please target the big rat. Yes. Oh, no, I can't. Oh. Well... It's going to do some damage to me. So they'll attack and I'll kill it. And I'll lose a bit. Ah. Oh, so they're three colours at least. Right, okay. Attack with everything. Ah. They're not. Okay. Uh, do I flash you in now? No. Right, I can flash you in next turn. So if I attack, they can block with both of them. Which they'll probably want to. And it's attacking, attacking or blocking creature. Okay. So if they block, I can maybe kill both of them. If they block. I think that's probably why they stayed open. But they didn't. Okay. Interesting. Hmm, and they're going to keep drawing cards as well. 
I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this game. Oh, that thing. Jeez. That's a lot of things. They can spend a lot of mana on that. To keep on tapping it. That one three's got a uh, life link. Right, please attack with your rat. Your big one. No, they're not. Uh, do I just kill that? No. Oh, there's a thing that they can do. It's plus one plus oh until end of turn. Um Can they do that again? So that's when another creature dies. Right. Just kill it. That thing will get a counter on. Fine. I could bring this out now. I'll be in the air. Mm. No, right. Which you can trust into a graveyard from the battlefield, create a one one white bird creature talking with flying. Uh, they can't block. I think I will bring out my knight though. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. And they're going to keep creating foods as well. Mm-hmm. I'm not feeling great about this. Right. They'll have something to power it up with. How many cards have in their hand? None. Uh, sacrifice. Uh, first attack. Hello, gets that until the end of turn. You. Nothing. You just attack. Uh, I think they've got nothing that they can do. Um. Okay. I mean, well, I, I can't see anything that they can do. Oh, well, that powers that up, I guess. Right. Um, hmm. I can attack with this. I can cause them to lose some life. They will sacrifice the food. Well, yeah, they can power that off, can't they? Right, yeah, I'm not feeling so great about this. I'm not feeling great about this at all. Mmm, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking... I don't know. I mean, they've got plenty of options. Ah, all right. I think I have to, um, So I can do two damage to them through that. I can do one, two dam one damage through through that. They'll lose one life. Ah, no, I'm I'm gonna have to just hold back. I think, for now. They can do all that damage to me. Fine, it's not great. I'm supposed to be down to seven. Oh no, let's not do it that way. Let's do it that way. Let's hurt you rather than heal myself. 
And they they can still untap that thing. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't. Mm. Okay, that will get me a bird as well. So I'll attack with... Hey, what? Hmm. Oh, it's a bit much, isn't it? They have to block. Okay. No, I'll attack with just the one. Which I imagine they'll probably let it in. Oh, they're going to do that. All right. I'm going to double block it. I could still win this. If they double block, I can kill both of them. They'll lose one life. I'll get a bird. And... I can destroy. I mean, that's got ward, but I can just go for that first, I guess. Oh, no, that doesn't quite work. They're going to let it through. Okay, then. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Oh, I've got my flash flyer. It's quite... It is a bit awkward though because I mean I can destroy a thing like if they hit me I can destroy if they attack I can destroy like one of their things I mean oh they've got food token so they can heal themselves up that way yeah yeah I think they need to do that I can't block the 3-3 three, three. Touch it to target. Ah! Okay. That doesn't undo my roll, though. This is close. Are they going to attack? Hmm. Do I shoot in and then block? Oh, jeez. I think I don't. I think I just let them hit me and then I can bring... I mean, because the north got it in my hand. Yeah, I'll just bring you out. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, I can bargain. I'll lose two life. And I'll draw two cards. It's a bit of a risk. Let's cast bargain. Yeah. Let's bargain my wicked. I'll lose two life, but I think this is my only way I can survive this turn, potentially. A tail for the ages, candy grapple, uh, candy grapple. Man, I don't think I'll do well with lands. Put two of them on your library, Odin will be done in the next step. So hold on, put two of them back on top of your library and any other rest into your graveyard. Right, well, let's take the two of those. Yeah, fine. Okay. And I can give enchanted creatures. Nah, it's not great, is it? Um. Okay. And I can attack in the air, and they'll lose, won't they? 
I didn't even think about that. Oh no, because they can untap that. Well, at least that means they can't attack in the air anymore. That becomes a big thing, but I've got plenty of stuff to block it off. Yeah, and they keep... Oh, man. If I can survive this turn... Because we're really at the end here. Right. Well, I think that we turn the tides. Twist to sever which I don't think I can survive this. But we'll see. What does that do? It's just a big thing. All right. It's the benefit of them drawing all those cards. Oh, man. If I can survive this turn and then get through for, like, two damage. Oh. Will you help? <laughs> all right. Um, if I attack in the air for one, yeah, for X, man, that Frexion on life's really saved me. Right, attack with you in the air for one. Okay, and now they will lose a life. Yeah. Now, if they can't win this turn... One, two... Oh, no, they can't, because they've, they've they're just going to do a lot of poison to me. Unless they can get rid of my Frexion and life. Which they might be able to. Still. Hmm. Okay. Right, attacking with everything. Is this enough? This isn't going to be enough to... Hmm. Okay. Now, I can candy grapple their land. Or their big one. No, actually, no, not their land, their big one. And I'll bargain. So get rid of you. And sacrifice, yeah, not sacrifice my fraction in life. So you're dead. It's good to do one damage to me, but fine. So can they do ten? Let's... Oh, well if you die... I'll win. Right, I just need to block off the biggest amount of damage here. So... I think that's me one. So they're going to do six poison to me. Right. Oh, ten poison to me. Oh. How did that happen? Did I get miscalculate? Oh, did they something one of those have trample? Did I not see the trample? If I survived that turn, they would have lost. I don't mean that like it's, ooh, I had this card. I mean, literally, like, my wicked thing. Oh, my God, I could have. Oh, no, I didn't. It wasn't a wicked one. It was a cursed one. I already bargained the wicked one. Never mind. Never mind. Well, first game loss seems to be common for me these days. Mm-hmm. This seems okay. Got a couple of candy grapples as well, so that's... Uh, I can be a bit aggressive. Gives me space for my armory mice to, to come through. All right. Okay. Now, um, would I do put a wicked roll on it? Uh, 
Well, that will give it plus two. Yeah, I should do both, actually. Bring you out. Not kind of grapple yet. And then... Got a wicked roll. On my mice. And it gets the bones from the celebration. Alright then. And I can candy grapple. I can get rid of the wicked if I really want to. Which will in turn hurt them through this thing. I'm in good standing here. Oh, they're going to enchant their land. Yeah, I think you can only enchant... It's it's one one green and you can only enchant forests, so... There really isn't much flexibility there. They have to enchant the one that they've tapped. Mmm, red. Right. Celebration. Right, well, nothing I can do about that. I mean, I can block it if I want to, but... I don't really. So... Aha. Uh -huh. In terms of creatures you control, get plus two, plus two. I think... I think I just have to attack. Yeah, and I can candy grapple. If I can, I can bargain away the wicked one. That will hurt them for two. Create a three-three. That's a big trampler. Are they going to move it? All right. Okay. No, I don't need to bargain it. Got another one. They've got another one. Um. Okay then. And I've got another candy grapple there. If they double block. Which they could. I'll just candy grapple. One of them. And that will leave them this leave them with this saga. Without much use, but they're not, they're letting it through. Alright then. Still I've got the candy grapple. You may sacrifice a creature if you do. So they've chosen not to do that? This is fine. This is perfectly fine. If you equip that thing and maybe get a celebration, I can candy grapple with the bargain. And that will hurt them too. Okay. Makes him a 4 2. Are they going to attack? Okay, I'll just take it. And then at the end of their turn, whenever you cast a spell with mana value 5, I'll put a 1 1. Another 3 4. Alright. Um hmm. Oh, if I I won't bargain it. Let's get rid of that one. Right. When enters destroy target creature with dealt damage this turn. I can attack with both of them. They'll have to block that one. They'll lose two, and then I can do that and kill their thing. What's the final one? Up to two tag. Creatures, right. What creatures do you? No, I will attack with both of them. So they've got no choice but to block the big one. And, yeah, well, well my thing won't die anyway. That's fine. And I'll just bring you out.
Okay. I think this is pretty much in the bag. I mean, what can this do? It'll be, it's going to potentially swing in for seven points of damage. There, there you go. See? First game loss is just the way that they set. The way that uh, Wild of Eldraine Sealed seems to be going. Time for another game. Well, the game I lost at, it came very close. And the game I won at, I won at by a lot. So that's... I mean, to some degree, it's quite nice. Uh, huh. Hmm. All right. There's things I can do. I'll just draw two cards. I won't. I'll just draw two cards and lose two life. Oh, it's instant. Well, didn't really help, but fine. Hmm. Right. So I can bring you out. When it enters the battlefield, to return target creature or enchantment from your creature from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, I can't really make use of that now, can I? Uh, let's just bring out the witch and get some nice food. And yeah, let's let's add a wicked roll. The good old witch. Didn't even account for that. So whenever another artifact you can put into the grave into a graveyard from the battlefield for a one one. Yeah, that's potentially deadly. Right, I'll take the three. Right, now, kind of would like to bring you out, so let's... Okay, and I can swing in. I could swing in for four. That stupid thing. That keeps powering up. Now I've got the choice. I can I can do what I want with the food, heal myself or hurt them. I can Kelly and light light blades. I want to get rid of their rat, the voracious vermin. I mean, is it? Well, that's it's not attacking, is it? Oh man, it's going to power up. Uh, oh, okay. Fine, let's power up their rat. Oh, they got a titanic growth or something? No. I really don't like that card. I mean, it's not... I mean, if I had it, I'm sure it'd be fine. If I had it in my rat deck, but I have just... I don't feel like I have, but I feel like I come up against it quite a lot. Oh, well, I could just chat the auth it, I guess. Alright.
Yes. Now, do I have an enchantment? No, I don't. So let's, um... Create a wicked roll. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Shatter the off here and create a wicked roll on my thing without a wicked roll. I think they've got no choice but to let it through. I mean, they can block that. Fine. They'll lose. And boom. Means I can bring you out and bring out the uh, the witch. So when it enters, return target creature or enchantment from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, okay. Okay. They've got a bigger hand than I do. Right. Now, I could do this, so it becomes a 1-4 uh, whenever it attacks, defending... Well, you know what? I might do that. Um, I mean, they can block it, but at least I get a bit of... a bit of damage and healing in. Right, that worked out quite well. I mean, I could do that again, depends what they do though. If they bring up more creatures, that could be a nuisance. But if I could say get the witch out, I'll, I'll, probably, I'll probably use this first actually. Draw a card and lose a life. Oh, that thing, yeah. Um, If they attack with that again, or if they don't bring anything out, are they gonna bring anything out? Ah, a three one. Right. Attack just with that one. Okay. Right, and I'll just heal up. Fine. Right. Now, uh, at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It was one, two, three, four. Okay. Um, now I can candy grapple. So when that dies, they get food. Shall I just candy grapple now? Yeah, just regular candy grapple. The three, three there. Boom. Bottom of your library. And I'll get in for three. And get a bit of healing going on. Okay. Hmm, very nice. All I need to do is to get that back out again and attack and I've won. Jeez. Okay. I mean, they might still... There's still stuff that they might do. They might, like, use some mobility on it. Yep. Destroy it. Eh. Uh, whatever. Fine. Okay, now can I just attack you for three? Well, again, three. Fine. And you will... Tell you what, let's just bring you out. And let's get something. Let's get that only option I had. It's alright, if I can get this out, I can use it. I mean, they might have a couple of removal spells. But if I can get this out, I can just hurt them by uh, burning them with the pie. What a way to win a game.
I mean, I'm on, they're on one, I'm on 16. I can fraction up in life. That would really help. And they're just going all out. But they know I've got the witch in my hand. They might not have realised. Okay. Well, bring out the witch. Quit a food. Use the ability. And hit you. Yep. Yeah. There. <laughs> I don't know if they realised that or they were just hoping that I wouldn't realise it. Because, I mean, I do that. I do that where I hope that they don't realise it. So that might be what happened. 125 experience. Yeah, see, there's no, there hasn't been a single sealed event of this set so far where I've gone less than 2-3. The thing is as well, when I was looking at the res, there was, there was, I didn't feel like I was being guided towards anything like with the last one. Opponent goes first. Hmm. I'm gonna, gonna take the risk. Mm-hmm. Right. Swamp, please. I'm not happy with it. No. I'll just leave it. Jeez. <laughs> I think I might have lost this game. I can buy some time with Phyrexian on life, but what good is that going to do? Right. If I get a black, if I get an, one swamp, I need a swamp. If I don't get a swamp, that would be awkward. But, I mean, they can start bringing stuff out and, and all that. Yeah, see? I'm just going over the top. No, it's not a swamp. It's another one of those. So, let's coop up you. And uh, a tail for the ages. Now, there was a bit of um, debate. Hold on. I don't know how this works. Oh. What was that? They get two cards. Oh, for goodness sake. Right. So, I'm going to try this out. Igdal, okay. No, and I can't respond to that. Okay. No. No, I just, I need the, I took, I mean, if I get, if I get a black, I can bring out the spirited hex mage, I can get rid of the thing, it will be enchanted, so it will have the bonus, um, or it won't be enchanted, it won't be enchanted anymore, but it means I could br bring out the conceited witch, add a wicked thing to it, I, it could steamroll, but it's just, I've got nothing going on here that can help me, I mean, I'm on, Effectively 22 life, unless they can get rid of my, my thing. Yeah, just nothing, nothing I can do. No. Right, come on, swamp, please. Oh, for goodness sake.
Right. Let's get rid of this just because I need a... <sighs> I need to draw a card. Just give me a swamp. There you go. Not that there's anything I can do with it now, but... You know. Yep, and they'll attack with everything. Put me almost into the... That range. Right. Okay. Finally, I can bring back an enchantment. I'll bring back the cooped up. Yep. I'll put the cooped up on. Not you. Why did I do you? Why, why, why? Oh. Well, it has the first strike, I guess. You can get a young hero. We're all talking. Man, now, if, see, if I draw another swamp. If I draw another swamp, I can do things. I mean, not good things. Is that, is that me down to 10 poison? Ah, okay. It doesn't quite work how I thought it would. So now, okay. So I did all the damage at once, so that took me... Okay. It's a bit silly, but fine. Right. You. Right. And, uh... Let's... Let's get rid of that curse. It's... I, I don't think I can make this. But you've, you've got to keep off. You've got to keep off. I mean, they might just, just kill... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can do t seven poison to me now. Yeah. not enough to protect me from their, their stuff. Ah, Two wins. Two, two. Well, this again, like many sealed events of this, I've been in this position where I've got one big fatal game. Now, the two losses that I've had have been both from very um, very okay. I am not doing this again. I am not doing this again. <laughs> I'm not taking the three planes hand. I'm thinking oh, if I get a swamp I can bring you out, then I can do this the next turn and then I can draw more. No. That's more like it. Um, I mean, not really. 
Uh, I mean, I'm going to keep it, definitely. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now are they going to kill that? My only creature? Oh no. Just going to bring up that one. Right. Um... See what they do. If they block, which I imagine they won't. Okay. Hmm. Fine, fraction on like it is. Not so great this early on. It's you know, you want to do that later on, but I wanna make the most use of my mana. with both. Ah, they've got nothing for their mana to use. I, however, eh, uh, I'll try to make it even worse for them. Should I? You know what, I will. You've only got four cards in your hand, discard two of them. There might be cards I want to build up towards. Oh, and that one. Right. Mm hmm. Okay, then. Celebration isn't really going to help at this point. Uh, sacrifice. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Can't do anything there. Hmm. Nice. Right. Um. Okay, this can work out. Let's make you a 1-1. One, one. Right. And then, they've got two things that they can... Okay. I can bargain away the curse. So... This can help. They're gonna do three. Or oh, that. You know what? Um plus two plus two. Should I make the Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, so that would be a three three. Would it? What's its original? Hold on. Original stat is 3 1. Man, have I got this right? So it would lose its. It would be a 3 1. And then it would. So we'd get. Okay. Okay. Uh, to target you. Sacrificing. Oh, hold on. Oh, that's a wicked. Never mind. Sacrificing you, they lose two life through the those. Okay. That was sort of nice. 
I mean, they're doing that because they sort of have to. Nothing else they can do. I can... I can block the rat if I want to. Sort of don't, though. I'd rather be open. Um, I'm going to do six to them. Go on, then. Alright. And they're going to exile. If they exile my my guy, they're going to lose a life. But they're not. Ah, exile up to one target creature. And then return it. Okay, so let's just get you out, whatever. Uh, return, exile up to one target. I mean, maybe I should have just left it, but exile up to one target creature. Uh, and then target creature control gets plus two plus two and flying until end of turn. I mean, I could exile theirs. Yeah, let's exile the rat. Not, but it's not a rat, is it? It's a mouse. Or I could just get rid of their rat. That would that would just get rid of it altogether. But that thing can't block. So I might just get rid of this. Alright. Now if they block one of those. They will trade. Because they've got nothing in their hand that's going to be useful to them. Alright. And that, my creature, if it survives. It all depends on what's in their hand, I guess. I mean, I've got 9 life and 10 poison to go. Yeah, so I was thinking, so like, what well, I didn't know about that. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they can do lots of damage to me, but they've got to remember the poison. Yeah, I'll give the plus two plus two to you. So you are a wicked. So I think, I think this is it. I think I've won. Well, they're gaining three life. All right. Do five. And then they'll get it inside the of their next turn. But I can bargain away the wicked. Yeah, yeah, okay. Three, two, man. Fifth sealed, and on four of them I managed to get to the 3-3 three, three mark. So I've been doing really well. I've been doing really well. few things I can do but I'm not too happy about it. it gives me a few chances to get you know what I'm gonna go with it it gives me a few chances to uh, get some things well instantly there's a there's a swamp right Well, there's a thing I can break the spell on. But I won't do this turn. I'll wait till... I'll wait till the end of their turn. Hmm. What is it now? Ok, 
Okay, so whenever a rat enters the battlefield at the beginning of your combat on your turn, create a rat. Yeah. Um, I kind of want you to not be around. So, coop up isn't going to work. So I'll attack. And then I'll uh, carry in light blades. That's what they're going to do, which isn't what they're going to do. So I'll just bring out my uh, prospective parents out. I mean, they've got to keep making rats, which isn't nice. Hopefully yeah, they haven't got the song of Torton Tans. They've got some red. I mean, this is sealed, so the chance that they have multiples of the same theme is not too high, although that is what I had when I had my last draft. My um, red black. I played so much black in this set. Mm hmm. They're going to keep exiling cats from my graveyard. But they don't want to attack. Um. Yeah, Phyrexian on life isn't too big of a deal right now. Are they going to let this through? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll leave. I'll leave open uh, Cullen's light blades. I'll leave myself open. I mean, I could cooped up it. I could cooped up it and then exile it, but I'm not particularly. Whenever creature you control with power two or less. Oh my goodness! That could add up. That could add up really badly. Right. Come on. Yeah, attack with all of them. No, no. What are you doing? They're not attacking with it. Alright. Yeah, that can add up really badly. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking first, attack with both of them. Okay. Think yeah, because their their life is starting to get low now, so they've already got a few rats out, so they'll be wanting to use that for the raid bombardment. But I'm thinking just get rid of of that thing. Um, and I'll throw extra none life. Means I've got an extra ten point. I I've been getting that card in every game. I'm seeing it all the time. But it means they'll have to do... Not, now, now not always have to do 16. They have to do another 10 on top of that. So, yeah. Their rats can't block. Can they bring anything up that can block? Oh, if they can, I can coop it up. Oh, well, there's a thing. There's a thing for me to coop up. Boop. Ray bombardment attack. And then free from the rats. Uh, let's just candy grapple. Yep. Yeah. They can do maybe six damage to me next turn. Maybe six. All right. Leaving, I'm leaving this in my hand because they might bring out. I don't think it's going to matter really, but if they bring out, say, two, there, there you go. It's like if they if they brought out a creature, like I could have cooped up the, one of the rats just to stop two damage every turn, but then there's the risk that they could bring something big out, and I'd rather coop that thing up instead. All right, four wins. Ready versus Gory.
All right. And get you up, Wicked Vise Visitor out on turn two. Can do grapple if I need it. Yeah. Swamp out first just in case I accidentally bring up the one wrong one the next turn. Right, this ends just a two two. I can attack, I can candy grapple, I can make them discard a card. Add add a wicked token to it. Depending. Oh, they're going to tap it. Oh, never mind. Princess takes flight is not going to really help me now, I don't think. Alright, well. Except for one target creature. Yeah. No. And can do grapple that. It's going to be a, a nuisance. I mean, they get to scry too. So how deep into blue are they? Because I've only got three islands. Maybe they're in the same situation that I was in a couple couple games ago, where I just couldn't get anything else, anything nice out. Right. Um. Yeah. Discard two cards. Yeah, so something I didn't understand first when I was first introduced to this set. Ah, there you go. There's a black. There's a swamp. Yeah, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't familiar with when I was first introduced to this set. Um. Hold on. Now, do I have a bargain card? I don't. I could just get rid of it. I guess. Hmm. All right. I mean, it's gonna come back. You've already got a wicked on, don't you? Yeah. I mean, that would hurt them for two. I would put wicked on, and it would hurt them for do an extra two points of damage. Should I? All right. Let's do it. Don't have access to my fifth mana, but I can potentially string blade assassin. Well, there's a bargain. Right. Okay. Target creature gets minus X minus X. At the end of turn, an additional three, so it's going to get minus three minus three. Or I could just give it minus. Tell you what, now is the time. Now is the time. Let's bargain away. Do it to you. And bargain away you. Ah, okay. <laughs> Very nice. Right. Uh, I can do 2-3 Menace or... Yeah, I'll do the 2-3 Menace. I'm getting into the last. I'm on the final stretch of hits, I guess. Oh, ho, ho. Now, do I attack with... Both of them? Uh, create a wicked, wicked roll. Yes, let's do that. Let's get rid of you and put a wicked roll on you. Oh, they got two mana. I've got one card in hand. Okay. Let's 
let's go for it. Now, will they lose? They'll lose one from that, but they won't lose one from the other one. All right. Yeah. I don't think you're going to get much time to power that thing up, though. I can start draining them with that. So, that's got Menace, so they can't block this, I'll just do two dam uh, three damage. Okay, and I'll bring you out. They, they've got the food, so they can heal up a little bit, but... Uh, okay. Now, if I bring you out... One for that's gonna. I think I think I can win. They've got no cards in their hand. Oh well, they can crack the food open, I guess. Yeah, so they'll eat the food. All right. Now they can only block two of them because the rat can't block, but they can double block. Now, never mind. They conceded. Oh, one of those. Hold on, sorry, one moment. Okay, it's bloody hot in here. Which is, uh, I've sort of like tried to angle my laptop a bit so that the fans have got a bit more room. Mm-hmm. This seems okay. Anyway, five wins. That's a fancy looking mountain. Can't say I like that colour scheme for a mountain, it should be red. Don't have anything that can bargain. No, I've got I do have a thing that can bargain. I've got the candy grapple. So I could the princess takes I mean I could bring you out, princess takes flight, and then bargain the they're not bringing anything out. Okay. So... Oh, you didn't last long. Menace. Okay. Well, let's get that thing back. Oh. Oh, exiled. Never mind. Ah. I can candy grapple that thing if I want to, but I think I'd rather... Let's go for all weird, like, a variety of land styles by the looks of it. Bit messy. They're going to kill that. Uh, so whenever enchantment you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, put a 1-1 one -one counter. Yep, there you go. Right. So I'll bring you out, and then... Exile that. And should I want to, I can, if they bring something out, well, yeah, I think it is best that I do bargain it away. It's plus two, plus two, and flying.
Ähm. Okay. One, two, three, four. I've got enough mana for both of those. I'll, um, during that, and if they bring a big thing out, I'll candy grapple, bargain away my, my enchantment. I enter, draw a card. Eh, it's not better than... I'd rather have just brought out a big, like, 5-5 five, five creature. That would have worked perfectly. Right. Okay. So they're going to attack me for two. Right. Let's uh, do this. And let's... Let's do you. Let's back in away. I don't need the... I don't need the minus five, minus five, but... Um, you know, I don't want them to get their thing back. Oh, yeah, it's nice. And I'll just flash you out so I can swing in for some damage maybe on their turn. Lovely. Right. Okay, I'm just going to bring out my land and all that because... I could still draw something that uh, would require... I mean, if I draw that dual land... Oh, rat out. Oh. No, not nice. Wait. Minus one, minus one. But it was... Uh... What was it? Tokens... We talking to you control how plus one plus one and vigilance. Ah. Well. Right. Let's attack with both of these. Let's let's play this aggressively. We can let them both through. That's fine. And on their turn, I'll uh, I'll kill one of theirs because no doubt they're going to attack. What does that do when it dies? Get okay, food token. Um, alright. They're not going to attack with that one. Tell you what, you can have your 2-2 two -two Vigilance can't block. And get a food. Yeah, now I need to draw... See, the thing is, I need to draw something. Yeah, I'm not. Mm, I'm not doing too great here. That's a wicked roll, isn't it? Here, oh, monster roll, right? Oh, the bloody, bloody rat dude, voracious vermin. I hate it. I see it so often. Is black just a very popular colour in this set? Right, let's trade. Of course that powers that up. Ah. Right. Tanglaw. <laughs> I think I've lost this. I think I've gone five. Ah, they've got the red. Right. How many colours are they going? Are they going all colours? They've got, they've got white, they've got red, they've got green, they've got black. <laughs> right, I'm just drawing lands now. <sighs> Bloody minstrosity. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah.
Now watch me draw another land. Not that it matters. If I get Phyrexian on Phyrexian on life. <laughs> right. Okay. Bring you out. And then concede. Still though, 5-3. I'm very happy with that result. It's a very good result. Look at that. 1,600 gems. One more win and I would have broke even on gems. But even still... I mean, that is... The the the, uh, the jump from 5 to 6 is still a jump. More so than most of them. Because most of them are 2. It's just the jump from 2 to 3 is like 600 gem jump. From 5 to 6. Yeah. So... Let's claim my prize. Yeah, I mean, look at this, right? Um, my gems here, I started at about 16,000. I've had five sealed events, and it's now at 13,000. So I've effectively spent 3,000 gems. It doesn't take that long to get 3,000 gems with uh, with drafts and all that. Anyway, the store's updated. See, I'm actually playing this earlier than I normally would. So let's see what's new in the store. Is it going to be coins or a draft token or gems? No. It's the silly, silly, silly alternate art. Yep. Horrible. I don't like these alternate arts at all. I find them really awkward. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.